So one of the rules on Bodega Nights is no foul language, and we've been pretty good with like sticking to that rule, I think. But uh, for this particular episode, there was a little bit of cussing, especially towards the end, and like right at the very end, we do have a little bit of foul language. I couldn't figure out how to get an individual feed item to have the explicit tag on it, or if that's even possible given like the setup of the site or the services that we have. So take this as your fair warning, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the things like this is creepy as heck. Welcome to channel14.com's Bodega Nights, where we are talking about Saxel's laugh. My name is AG. I'm Nico, the Iran gamer. I'm Joe. Hey, it's Norm. <laughs> right, he's really like, I, yeah. I have no idea how to express it in English. <laughs> owning it. Yeah, he's owning it, dude. He's owning it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's gone. An awkward pause, right? Where everybody just looks at Norm and expects him to say something funny. Mm-hmm. Or profound, you yeah. never know. Or Norman. <laughs> yeah, like fix yep. it. <laughs> oh yeah, what? How? What? Oh yeah, we just came from a nice game, uh, nice cafe called Dice and Dine, where we play a number of board games. Plug, Fantastic plug, plug. place. Uh, steampunk architecture, nice drinks, great tea, great coffee, interesting food, and great place to spend time with friends and murder them in games. Yes. Yeah. Like never murder your emphasis friends. in games. <laughs> games. Murder, murder in games. Yes. Only in games, kids. We do not condemn. Yep, we play dead they play Dead of Winter, Avalon and Dix. What was it? Uh Dixit. 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 Yeah, that's the um what, the Latin the, the Latin verb for to say. Because you're supposed to say what's on your card. Huh. Yeah. I, I like what were you Like uh, it's it's it's, it's really it's, it's like really simple. You just say what's on your card. I was not present for these things, just so you know. I was just there for Dead of Winter. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a game we started with, Dead of Winter. It's it's kind of fun how you would expect Walking Dead established as a board game where you and your friends are survivors trying to survive in a colony and, you know, trying to stave off hunger, trying really to kill zombies. Norm, like, and take yeah. note, there is an actual Walking Dead <laughs> board game, except this one happens in winter. And you want to slowly, slowly hoard and... Wait, no, that was me. <laughs> and one of you could be a betrayer. Which was Martin. Who wasn't very good as a betrayer, dude? Remember, he <laughs> because died. he keep contributing good things to the. No, I can't forget. Was he died the first turn? Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> that was that. I, I was but that, that was part of his plan, that though, was, right? That was yeah. Because like because um his objective was to make sure that uh, we had zero morale mm-hmm. by the end of the game. I'm pretty sure his plan was that I'm going to roll a death twice in the first go. No, 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 no. He was intentionally trying to kill himself off. Yeah, that that way we could bring the morale like really low. Can you imagine our morale was actually down to like one or two? He, one. He, yeah, it was he, down yeah. to one. We right couldn't sacrifice we Santa Claus. Instead, he died and made us sad. Instead of sacrificing himself to make us happy, that's still a twisted mechanic, though. Honestly, like sacrifice the mall Santa and you end up becoming happy about it. Yeah, because um, the mall Santa's uh, what was it? his his character ability is if you sacrifice. He, yeah, if you sacrifice him at the beginning of the turn. at the beginning of the turn, the team gains one morale. Which is really sad if you think about it. It's a horrible, <laughs> horrible sight. It's, honestly. It's, not, it's not, guys, we're not sacrificing him. We're removing him from the game. Well, the, well yeah, fine. Sa- <laughs> well, fine, but then, you know. To the I gods mean, of zombies in winter. I love, though, Santa Claus. I love the, like, the, the time his character finally got killed. That's when the blizzard came. Yeah. <laughs> like when we could have used the morale boost was like exactly when he died. Like, Martin must have been like really happy. Like, yes. So My traitorness is coming to fruition. fruition. And I saved this character when I went to the gas station. My super well-armed character, armed with everything from guns to books. About the only thing Martin wasn't able to uh, finish was uh, collecting items. He needed one of each type, Ooh. Mm. which he lost when... He had a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> he had a switchblade, but he lost it when one of his characters unexpectedly died. <laughs> <laughs> he lost which, which everything brought down, Which brought down morale So Like that was good for him in Yeah a but sense. he can't fulfill his win condition oh, yeah, That's true I did love though How one of the most amazing characters Was Jao's Martha Stewart <laughs> Yeah He kept everyone get, fed um, Yeah I loved her so much Because I didn't have to give her A single bit of my food <laughs> Yeah yeah uh, Her character ability is Give to food Give to food to the colony Which you, is you know If you roll a 4 or higher If you roll a 4 or higher <laughs> Um Used in, oh, but then that, that that wasn't 
I, I was going to say it was used in conjunction with the guy that could um, do rerolls, but no. We never really did. Did Norm no. have a character that he could look into your deck and take your take your stuff the away? The secretary. I have. I had two. One was the lawyer who could look at any random card in your hand, in any player's hand. And I had the pirate, which uh, gives me the ability to take any random card <laughs> from a chosen player's hand. So, so I combine the combo yeah. randomly get an item from anybody's hand. <laughs> yeah. So like, takes a look at it. Do I like it? No. I'll pick another one. And. Hope that that's better, or take a look at it. Do I like it? Yes, mine. Right. So See, those are combo. those are mechanics that you know that in a video game you can't cheat it, but in a tabletop it can be cheated so so well. In There's hand- actually so many flaws in that game, especially with the, what Norm found that if you're not in the colony, you don't need to eat. Mm. You want to save on food? Everyone, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Go out. Fighting zombies. The monsters are stuff. coming to kill us. Don't worry. Hang out there. But it's overrun. Nah, nah, don't worry. They, they don't care. <laughs> They'll jump over you and head into the base. <laughs> they, they just don't care. Unless you're in the colony, they care. What about the hopeless survivors? <laughs> you know, in hindsight, it's so, it's kind of funny how my lawyer and my pirate work so well together. I love how the fact that you have a lawyer pirate. <laughs> I mean, I had a fitness trainer and a teacher who looked like Pietro and Wanda. <laughs> yeah... I have. I had like a a cook, a mall Santa, and a fat dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's your fat dude's power? I don't remember him doing much of anything. Uh, for for your action dice, you can re-roll um one or more. Oh, okay, that's cool. Right, so that that's why I kept on getting good rolls. Eventually, ended up getting good rolls because you know, roll a four, a six, and two ones or whatever. Re-roll those two. I just end up with eight action dice by the end of the game. <laughs> Like a true hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> All the power is mine. I think Norm figured out I was a hoarder at some point. Yeah, dude. I figured out you were a hoarder once you passed seven cards in your hand. I was like, <laughs> that you're he's not just dropping. searching for <laughs> items. Statistically, he should have been able to contribute by now, but he's not. You are. I mean, it, it could, I could not contribute because maybe I had all junk. You don't know. But the thing is, you know, someone is a betrayer if he's putting in, in the crisis. He's not putting the right thing. The thing is, everyone put the right thing. Exactly. Even Martin was like, okay, go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we actually thought that we didn't have a traitor. In our yeah. It's like, like, if there was a traitor, we'd find out by now. Martin was like, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, uh, Martin's like the last person you would think to be a traitor. Well, he was work for government. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Maurice. He died the first time. I think <laughs> it's, it's particularly funny. That's probably to me. not even his name. He just looks like a Maurice. What's kind of crazy is uh, we, ha- we have a house rule where on the first death, on, on your first death, you get a mulligan. And like Martin took that mulligan and promptly died a <laughs> <Again>. second time. <laughs> Rolls again, dies. Yeah, and the exact same thing happened to me. And his character was a token black guy. Yeah, which was terrible. Yeah. Are you taking a... <laughs> oh, um, AG and, like, a, uh, AG's girlfriend Hannah's here, and she is currently taking a selfie with AG. No, she's... I think she's braiding his hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's putting his hair in a bun. No, in a braid. Yeah. Right, so you're going to have to, like, post this wait, as wait, a comment wait. on the, uh, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> on, on the link sure. dump. Yeah, yeah, like in the link dump. God, I have to have a link dump. Ah, <laughs> so many link dumps. Do I look like Katniss Everdeen? No, no, no. Uh, Primrose. I think it's you Primrose. Need to be horribly <laughs> right. Primrose from the first movie. Right. Oh yeah. Was it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah her sister. Her sister. <laughs> who's Primrose? What? Why and why do you know these things, Norm? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know these things, or I, you don't know? I don't know why, why you know I things? know these things. Well, the Norm does know many things. Things that he should not know, but yet knows. Yes. But not right now. I'm not gonna tell you all of this. These are ancient Chinese secrets. <laughs> uh, it's okay for Norm to say that he's Chinese. Suzanne Collins' book is an ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> yes. Or do you think it was published? Wait, no. It is not a Chinese secret. The work of Zig Ziglar yeah, is what? an ancient Chinese secret. The Tang Dynasty was employing <laughs> the, like 13 districts. <laughs> I'd like to imagine they probably had a lot more back in China at that time. <laughs> I mean, they did have a really good system of compartmentalizing workers and just making Come the what workers? Compartmentalizing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, right. okay right. I heard commoditizing. Did we introduce ourselves? I heard commoditizing. I'm Zhao. <laughs> I'm the ironic gamer. I'm pretty sure we did introduce ourselves. Yeah. We didn't? 
Det er det. Ja, det er det. And that one's Norm. Yay, it's Norm. The spy. <laughs> He's a traitor. <laughs> Oh yeah, how did Avalon go? Because all I've been told wow. is Avalon's a bunch of traitors, uh, cutthroats, and it's kind of like oh, Game of Thrones wow. without tires. It is, it tired. is so tiring when you're playing with so many smart people. <laughs> it's just, uh, I was telling Miko this earlier through text. Wait, did, you, did you just call us smart? No, tired. You said tired. Okay, because I thought you said like smart. You lying some bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I call you guys smart people. We're playing against smart people. You oh. lying some. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Handsome, smart. tall, smart people. Awesome on the radio. <laughs> All right. I'm glad he calls us people. <laughs> I'll settle for that. Great human beings. <laughs> Except when I'm playing against you, <laughs> Turks. Yeah, so what, what were you telling me? Right, um, the challenge, the ch- it was really, really challenging for me because I constantly was assigned a Mordred minion card. <laughs> and... Uh, you guys had the luck of the draw where in your first team is almost always perfectly just Arthurians. Yeah. And the idea is that you, as a more, a more dread minion, you're supposed to infiltrate, uh, the be part of that team and, or break the trust at least of that team. Yeah, break the trust and, you know, uh, sabotage the quest. And, and um, if my voice is changing here, it's because I'm sick. <laughs> uh, that was really, that was, that was really cool. Dude. Like Norm shows up with a face mask on, like a Korean, right? <laughs> and um, we're like, hey, he's role playing, cosplaying pandemic, <laughs> <laughs> or a Saints Row character, <laughs> or a Saints Row character <laughs> with the purple pants and, and the red shoes, <laughs> red hat. I mean, yeah. your hat's more of a black. You're more of a black hat with a red, you know, trim. Yeah. But my strategy for that type of game is never rely on a person's action, but on a person's decision. It's so, a great strategy if you are the good guys. <laughs> so actions, so words speak louder than actions for you. Here. The decisions. Yeah, the words. Yeah, for you guys, it's, uh, yeah. it was about maintaining consistency. Okay, yeah. we got, we, we, we won this quest. Let's keep the teams and... Yeah, because logic continue. dictates it's always going to be a victory. But some have to win more than others, just like mm. Dead of Winter. <laughs> So, Where victory is met, but more victory is met by more. Yes. Whenever, whenever somebody's like, who wants to be on this mission? I want to be on this mission, but I don't want to be, I don't want to seem desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly raise my hand up. And nobody trusts me. <laughs> right. That, yeah, that according to Norm, he like texted me and said, you all thought he was a traitor and that you're, he's going to kill you all in your sleep. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't know if this is like in game. I mean, <laughs> well, to be fair, I was um, I, I was the Merlin for that first round, and I knew that you were a traitor. <laughs> so, like, the idea was to convince everybody else without. So, did you know it's a traitor because you know by in game mechanics, or in-game you just mechanics. like, oh, okay, you just like, look, Norm, he gonna betray us. <laughs> no, <but> like, <laughs> like, like by, by, by in game mechanic, like I, I know okay. that Norm is one of the traitors. Now I have to convince everybody that Norm is a traitor, without. Letting everybody without letting the traitors know that I know, which is apparently not that hard. Why? I don't know. It didn't. Or am I just that good? No, I was. <laughs> I think said no. Norm. I think somebody. Norm's gonna kill us. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I found that that um, John was uh, one of our uh, co-players. I don't know. The, the guy, one of the guys we play with, um, regular on Bodega Nights yes. sometimes. L- l- less and it's less. not a regular. <laughs> well, not well. You know, he was okay, at yeah. one point. Guests? Yeah, yeah. At, 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 you know, but now we we have a more consistent lineup now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. So anyway, so we can place. we can we can throw back to like, oh, your house was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we were smoking out the thieves. Like, <laughs> all right. So real estate developer. Mm-hmm. They can't steal anything if nothing's there to steal. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot <laughs> steal ash. <laughs> We're going He's to make this Ashland better. Now I'm worried. Is my house on fire? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those like rare episodes where all of us are together. Yeah, this is not a national episode. I'm actually here, and so is Zhao. We're physically present in each other's personal space. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. Are you actually there, or is it all in my mind? Well, you are Norm, so I really don't... I mean, can you imagine... Are you loyal to the resistance? It's gonna be funny if this was a battle episode happening inside Norm's head. And the you listener know, is like, knows, that's what's what? Because me, he got Am so I really listening to a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> or is this someone's delusions? Is the listener my part delusions. Of, is the listener part of the delusion? Ah. 
Well, I mean, like, Norm kind of went crazy in Avalon based on what I've observed, so this could all be in his mind right now. I mean, he just might need to wake up. I'm gonna get myself a glass of water. <laughs> it's all talk. It's not gonna cut, right? No, no, no. no. But We're how's gonna... life been in Manila lately? I mean, like, Cebu has been generally hot. At least I've been told. It's been easier to meet people, I guess, uh, break <laughs> ice with people. Break Wait, what? Ice. what? <laughs> break <laughs> ice. <laughs> Like, hey man, how are you? Here's some ice. Why? <laughs> Let's break ice together. <laughs> Hello, let us break the ice. Uh, <laughs> he just grabs him by the hair, smashes his face. In like, it's the first I've heard of that expression. Uh, so you know, what, what, what he means? Oh, there's though. a tube of ice. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, actually, with my karate skills. Well, what, what he I means is it's like you know, Chinese, Wushu, like, 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 like when you're when you're oh, obese Chinese people doing kung fu. Um, <laughs> that was in dro- that weird drawing. <laughs> that that weird game. drawing game. What was it? Breaking the ice. Like you're you're in a really awkward situation in an elevator. You look to you know the person next to you that's trying to not pick his nose. When there's this booger there and you say, How's it really hot, man? Oh. (laughs) And all of a sudden it becomes less awkward because you have this shared moment with, you know, how the Philippines feels like it's closer to the sun than the rest of the earth. I mean, no, I mean, just... That's so an icebreaker, break, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, there's breaking the there's breaking ice. And there's breaking ice with people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or breaking ice with people. <laughs> Norm, stand there. Here's ice. Smack the day. I mean, like, I, I, was thinking, like, all, like, I was thinking, like, three of us left Norm. Like, let's break the ice with Norm. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense. It's been so hot. You just got smack ice in your face. There's just no more about two coffees. <laughs> Give him more coffee, it'll make less sense. <laughs> Going back to the elevator, you were saying, like, to break the ice, right? You start with the weather. Yeah. So, yeah. like, hey, man, so hot outside. By the way, you have boogers in your nose. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, do I? <laughs> no, I'll just start out with, you know, hey, man, elevator? how you doing? How's it hanging from your nose? <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal! Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's been crazy hot. I mean, but in Manila, how's, I mean, besides the heat, the traffic, the, you know, impending doom of an earthquake, how's everything been? Uh, hmm. I haven't really thought about that much aside from the heat, the traffic, the impending <laughs> doom of an earthquake. How's your computer? Oh, Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> because we got we got we got two people here with computer problems. <laughs> one's a Linux and one's a Windows. Yes, which, nope. Oh, it's a Mac. It's a Mac. It's, it's a, a Mac. Mac. Yep. Wow. What happened to your Mac? Fist bump. Third world Linux fist bump. Oh yeah. Wait, why are you on a Mac? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, I am on a Mac. Back but on through Linux. Yeah. OS X, baby. Um, Unix. It was a hand me down. It's a hand me down. Oh. Um, it was. A, that's what I use for. Work. How hard they hand it down. <laughs> as hard as we break the ice. <laughs> no. That's what we call a callback. <laughs> yeah, I'm just died. Not charging anymore. Um, try to use like SMC with a charger though. Huh? So is that like a charger? no? The charger. The so is that a power? Mag- okay, so power source or something? I think the battery's dead, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Is that the same thing happened to you, Norm? No. Like your power. Oh no. What happened? We're still diagnosing it. They still have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Norm like, feels like the universe is out to I get him. I have a feeling your problem is probably in the power source though. The, it, the, the, the power supply. The power supply. Nope. It tries to turn on. It gives me like a half second blip of light in my keyboard because it's lit up. And then it dies. This is like flipping uh, you off as it dies. <laughs> uh, off connection in the motherboard. Yeah. Still it, in the power. Like it, the power doesn't flow to the motherboard. Yeah, it's a possibility. And right after I get the fans fixed and after I get all my RAM working, you know, it just dies on me. Mm, so you're planning to build a new rig? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> <laughs> build a new rig. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Huh? Um, it's it's in the shop. I'm, I'm gonna see what uh, if they can still fix it. If they can still fix it, I'm gonna build a new rig. Why? <laughs> Why is your no, answer just get, always build a new just rig? Grab grab the parts that still work and move it over. I'm gonna try yeah, to upgrade yeah. it. Yeah. Let me like but say if, gonna build if, it. if there's a problem with your motherboard, just switch, switch out switch out the motherboard, motherboard and, and get an i5 yeah. quad. Get an i7. Like, keep the um, i7 quad. Then get like yeah. keep the power supply. Mm-hmm. Keep your RAM. Yes. Then go for a liquid cooling system. Then put a GTX 980. Yeah, and then like <laughs> then go broke. Four terabytes <laughs> and uh, hey, and then break, play with it. <laughs> and then break more sales records. Sell a kidney. 
Hey, you have all the so ice abs. to put the kidney in. <laughs> oh, yeah, we broke it. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why he has kidney problems, though. But seriously, the GTX, ni- the yeah. GTX 980 is pretty amazing, but I'm surprised that lots of newer systems are starting to make that a Bread. standard, especially like yeah. the Oculus coming out. Guys, guys lots of them are pushing that. What's that, Brent? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 7-Eleven soft, soft bread. It's cheese bread. Plug! Yeah, you guys can like go ahead and have some bread. Yeah. That's this. killing them on you. <laughs> <laughs> all we're, of that crackling. No, we're trying to be like honest with people, you know, like... We're not gonna open source. This open out. source. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Transparency. Better We're real the people. Government. We drink stuff. We cough because I'm sick. And yeah, no, I've, I've been got, coughing got, as well. I got my own bread. Thanks. Actually, yeah, Norm had enzyme So it's like, okay, cool. Enzyme matter. I'm gonna have like you cheese bread as well. What okay, the? So, what are you doing to your your like system? Are you like you're adding fans to it? How many fans do you have? Like the, just that one fan. Um. We're talking about cooling fans on my computer. Um, I have four on it. How many work? All four, all, all four of them work now, right before it died. <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad because I'm shooting in front of the mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hear um, Jao masticating. <laughs> Which sound like freaking goats. <laughs> <laughs> all together now. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> It sounds like Amy and making out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> An image nobody wants to see. We might have that clientele. Or, or unless you're into that thing. In which case, how we're much? Not we're not judging. <laughs> together, one love, like, one hey, love. In fairness, one I mean, love. together, AG and Norm make a 10. <laughs> we're Laurel and Hardy, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Minus, <laughs> minus the mustaches <laughs> and the polar hats. And the black and white. And black and white. And, and the Western complexion. <laughs> <laughs> and the successful career. <laughs> and the money. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, pretty Other much. Laura and Hardy. Laura and Hardy. <laughs> Laura and Hardy. <laughs> Take away everything but the size and shape of their bodies. And that's them. <laughs> <laughs> or Ernie and Bert. <laughs> hey, Bert. Hey, Ernie. Stop, stop, stop. Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> well, that was a lie. I told Paolo to get him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen to the show, right? <laughs> uh, I'm very, I think the only show I don't listen to religiously from Channel 14 is Linux. Linux, I think I would listen to one out of four shows every, every single week. At least mm. stay for the off tangent. Oh, the off tangent, I tried to fast forward it too, oh. but there's, you have no link to tell me when the off tangent goes in, so it's kind of jump around until I find it. Which is pretty much the point. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think we should do that. <laughs> we should put off tangent starts at. Yeah, off tangent starts at. You want to listen to this episode or listen to the strange things we say in the end? <laughs> strange stuff it is. <laughs> <laughs> there was that one off tangent section where AG's, uh, your, your, Internet connection was terrible. Yeah. AG's internet was internet connection was terrible. So like I was trying to say something going through like the whole checkout channel fourteen dot com like subscribes. I was able to bring the call to action in a twenty three minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, like subscribe if you're listening to this on Facebook. But like AG wasn't hearing it because of the internet connection, and we just started going. Bzz. Biz, 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 biz. And that was the off tangent section. And AG occasionally yelling, Bees! <laughs> <laughs> oh, technology in the third world. Ah, the use of proprietary formatting. That's, that's how. Oh, that was terrible, dude. <laughs> Freaking Paolo, right? <laughs> I love this guy, dude. Uh, we love him, man. We love him. We love him to love death. Um, our, uh, our, uh, um, the third world gaming let's play, uh, yes, third world plays yeah. was out late by like twenty four hours, uh, twenty three hours, twenty three. Yeah, like like about twenty three hours, because Paolo was trying to upload a six gigabyte file on 0.5 megabits up. On, on a proprietary format, which was Sony's MXF, I think. <laughs> right. So, so not only was the file itself twice as big as it should have been, as it should have been if it were in you know MP4, MP4 720, <laughs> but like once it had finally uploaded, uh, YouTube had to 
Convert it. Yeah, convert it. And that actually does kind of take a while to process as well. If you didn't realize, YouTube's not going to give you extra speed to try to do your conversion work. After a lot of patience, it finally finished after three days. <laughs> <laughs> the upload itself took three days, right? <laughs> Because I remember, like, I'm uploading days. the video now. Hey, fantastic. I'll see it in the morning. Where is it? <laughs> then I text them. I go on, like, the message. Like, okay, it's past one. Where is it? I don't see it on my feed. It's still uploading. How big is this file? Oh, it's, uh, six, it's like, three, it's 720, 60 frames. How long is this? 30 minutes. How big is this? 6 gig. Why is it 6 gig? <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, dude. The funny thing is, right, he, he, he gets his um, capture... It's in a weird proprietary format. Yeah, TS. It's, yeah, it's in TS. He converts it to MP4. And when he exported it, he converted it to like some weird Sony proprietary video format. When he was <laughs> editing on like H264 MP4. Not even XA. Well, the format that he export is not XAVCS. No, no. It's MXF, Sony, proprietary. It's I Sony use Sony Vega. and I don't even know that That's format. Awesome. <laughs> That's for the Sony Vega. If you don't change any of the pre- preferences, it goes immediately to that. <laughs> what the hell, man? Nothing but love to Paolo, but jeez. <laughs> actually, no, that, actually, talking about formats, this reminds me of the time I was uh, doing the video for a company. Uh, apparently, the new Samsung uh, TVs yeah. don't accept Apple codexes when you make it. <laughs> because I made That's a file fine. from Final Cut, which is Apple yeah. software, made it an MP4, and place it on a Samsung TV. It would not read it, saying the codex was wrong. <laughs> I'm wondering what codec error could there be? And I played it in my old Samsung TV. No issue. Is it? Mm. Uh, can you fix it via third third party firmware? Yeah, I went for he handbrake. Was about to say third so, I had Linux. It. so I had fixed it there, and suddenly it started working. Then I went down into the code. The only thing different is this doesn't say it's from an Apple system. <laughs> so I feel like, ah, so is this a subtle jab at them for losing the case? <laughs> We will not accept your codex. More we than know. likely. The competition uh, between man. Apple and Samsung. But yeah, formats. Really Remember, tough. guys, always choose the popular one. Not because of any other reason than it just kind of works. Use the open source ones. Or one. use the open source ones as well. Like, it's got um, to say that, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, man. It was really funny, right? Because uh, M4V for life. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? The, the first inter-island Bodega Nights that we did, Paulo sent over an MP3. Uh, Which Norm, is the correct one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Norm, uh, Norm sent an M4A. Yeah, an M4A. The Apple one. Yeah. And AG sent an OG. 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 <laughs> OG file. An OG file. And you export a. Wow. I export, um, I export MP3 and wave. I oh, don't no, MP3 and OG. Because OG is like open source and like, um, your, your, uh, what's it? AG's MacBook couldn't export MP3. Why? Because it didn't have the codec. Why? Because you have to pay for the codec. Why? Why? Because it's proprietary. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like like MP3. Funnily yeah. enough, MP3 as ubiquitous as it is, and like just be, and, and you can Music download it, and yeah, you can download um, you, you can download the codec for free. Right. But if you build it into your system, you have to pay a licensing fee because it's a proprietary format. Interesting. I mean, like, I can export. I can export MP3 with most of my things. But is that yeah, yeah. I paid, is that because I paid for it? Or yeah, because it comes bundled. Um, but if it comes bundled with your operating system, that means your operating system licensed it. Yeah, licensed it. Huh. I also thought MP3 was this normal thing that everyone could use. No, no. Nope. Um, that's Linux. So. That's why when you do a Linux install, what they do as you're installing is they say, "Would you like to download the MP3 codec?" Because if you download it as a user, you don't have to pay for it. Oh, okay. That's Restricted extras. Yeah. So, like, um, popularity does not necessarily mean open. Mm. Popularity means it was adopted by the porn industry. More or less. As I just realized, like, uh, even though the Let's Play just came out ready on Saturday, I have not watched it yet. I haven't either. I'm probably going to watch that later. I am partially curious, dreading it, yet also <laughs> amused to my... my what it might be. I, 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 I gotta be honest with you. Did he, did, did he do a solo? He, yeah, uh, he had to do solo because oh, the thing is, it's Guns of Icarus, meaning he had to work with people. Huh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> no, I'm curious! I'm so curious, and I'm wondering, it's like, did he have the PTT on so we heard other people, and they're wondering, what are you doing, man? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Mash that engine! 
<laughs> but you're a gunner. <laughs> we should play Why that guy. Why are you taking Enjoy the wheel? The no, when when I get my iMac fixed, I'll try to go again for Guns of Icarus. Is that on Linux now? No, iMac. I'm gonna get an iMac. When I get a oh, PC. Oh, you have an iMac. Which iMac? Another hand me down. Probably around the 2011, 2012 iMac. Oh, 2011? Or 2012? 2012, I guess. Oh, the 2012 one, you can actually upgrade the video card to a far better one. Uh, your latest one I think you can go into is the 7070M model, which is mm-hmm. really good, and you can get that in the 2 gig version. Now, it costs a bit to do that, and yeah. only do that once your warranty's out. But since you're getting a hand-me-down, you know, the warranty's long gone. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So I thought we'll doing see. that too, and then I realized I'd rather get an entirely new system. We'll see. We'll see. With a really weird video card that has no Windows driver. Yeah, because given the choice, I'll just build my own. Um, I'll build my. I'll, I just want to build my own rig again. So would it be running running on Linux? Uh, Hackintosh, I plan, which, is not, I plan, which is quite illegal. Do not do that, kids. Yeah, <laughs> I plan uh, to get two hard drives. So two that. O. So two OSs. Yeah. So which OS? One would is. Be? It's going to be. Uh, one is going to be what do you call this? Um, of course, I'm not sure what this show yet. Mm. Most likely, just live on the edge. Let's go for Fedora. <laughs> oh, dude, we should third world Linux Fedora. Yeah, because like Fedora 22 was just released. All right, and it was like, but I don't have any rig that can run Fedora properly. I can eh. try it on the netbook. Well, you could like run their LXD version or XFC version. All right. right, if you made it this far, this is the Bodega Night section. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished third world Linux <laughs> mini edition. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, other OS, I'm still not sure. Okay, so would it be Unix based or more of a Windows thing? Uh, <laughs> Unix based. I don't want to free BSD for life. Here's the thing: if I'm gonna get another operating system on that, or like hardcore Unix. Yeah, I might. It, it, I want Windows, but I don't want to shell out money. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. So well, is probably it just free? use SSD for the other one and use it for like photos and editing. Mm. And just yep. live and die by dark table again. Well, um, what, what people what people like to do is the the two hard drives that they get. Um, one of them is an SSD, and the yeah. other one is like a, a seventy two hundred spinning disk. Yeah, and you put your OSs on the SSD, SSD. and all of your data on the spinning disk. And when you're working on your media files, you transfer them to the, the SSD. SSD, especially for movies. Yeah, my new computer has a fusion drive. It's some weird proprietary thing that's an SSD HDD hybrid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You I don't understand it. My uh, apparently it's really good though. Yeah, I've been heard. Like I heard the, about the that, but I don't understand it like at all. Really like, is how, it like how to make it efficient? No, I don't understand how how it's an SSD and an HDD at the same time. Oh, so if anybody out there knows, let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> like her <laughs> and follow us on. I love how we like flout the idea of a call to action. <laughs> Every freaking 20 minutes. <laughs> Why not just subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> because like content creators, like, we were supposed to live and die by like the call to action, but <laughs> here we are making fun of it. <laughs> Hoping. Of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, but, uh, but the SSD is a fantastic thing. Exactly. I mean, that's the only reason why my old 2011 laptop is still really kicking just because it's the SSD it's just makes things yeah. boot up quicker. What what uh, how what's the size of your uh one one, eight? uh two fifty six two fifty six pretty decent yeah though so it's mm. kind of getting smaller and the fusion drive again is uh three terabytes mm-hmm. so yeah oh, fantastic okay. but if you work with another hard drive anyway you're gonna be okay as long as SSD Bless is you. running yeah oh one thing I also yes. learned uh remember that re- remember that Civ five let's play I did. Yeah. It was like two hours long. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I had that. Go- Obviously, I did not have enough space in my laptop to record all that. So <laughs> I had to connect my laptop to a hard external hard drive through 2.0 USB. Ooh. 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 Wow. It's like one done capture, save. And the computer is just like bricked and it's just <laughs> waiting like, don't you lose everything, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it was just there sitting and waiting like, Please don't lose everything. <laughs> From anger to... Oh, do you need flowers? Water? How about some ice? <laughs> so from outrage to pleading. <laughs> it's like just looking at the... You know, negotiating. The, the beach ball of doom just turning like... Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't lose everything. I yeah. think it finally saved in like 20, 25 minutes. But at least when I get the iMac, I can hopefully at least join some Let's Plays. I don't have footage. I can only have audio. But yeah. Wait, what? 
<laughs> you know, you could get ScreenFlow, which is a fantastic system with, that just no, runs I mean, off I'm, software. I'm still not sure the capability of the iMac I'm going to get. Uh, uh, it's ScreenFlow. iMac 2012. Is it the highest model available? Mm, not sure, but it was the uh, one used for work. Uh, pro settings probably. When you say like, work, what is work? Is it notepad? High end graphic design. Oh, then it's probably one of the better ones. Exactly. <laughs> all this gear, notepad. <laughs> all this gear talk is making me very jealous. <laughs> you it's just okay. got the good, the, probably the best mic we have on the crew right now. Yeah, but now my computer's dead. <laughs> I, I like how Norm was like texting me like uh, before I got to Manila where he asked, do you think I can make this work on my iPhone if I get a jack? <laughs> uh, this, I, don't, I, I just explained to Hannah earlier that iPhones or like um, the, I, uh, the tablets don't have OTG. So, right? Do they? Over the gangsta? <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, kind of like over the gangsta. It has to be something like that. Yeah, no, right. OTG connection to turn this thing to like... It a doesn't USB. matter! Because right now I'm running on a temporary PC that's running on a Windows XP system. And we're really sorry for the spike in volume. <laughs> Wait, but is your Mac still alive? <laughs> your Mac's My still 2008 alive. MacBook? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's still alive. That's the battery's worked. dead, but yes, it's, it's like alive. Good, Wait, so all your batteries are just dying? Yes. All my power, electricity is just dead. Uh, I'm thinking, I was like, uh, I'm cursed with part of Ranma one half. No, it's okay. My rig It died. took us 30 minutes to pull out like angry Norm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, the so my desktop rig also died because of power issues. It literally smoked. We're yeah. playing Borderlands. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> I'm running on a Windows XP, right? And the other... Uh, uh, <laughs> there you go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I'm skipping the Windows XP part. The other night, my Wi-Fi router dies too. Then it changed its password. It changes right? password. It's still on. Nobody's awake. I wake up at 4 a.m. trying to check my web, my emails. Why are you wake up at 4 a.m. checking check the emails? <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't ask God. We don't. Hey, Chinese secret. Chinese secret. <laughs> so, try to find a Wi-Fi signal because I apparently lost it. Only to find that my router has changed passwords for no reason. So now when I was this internetless two days ago. That's why I'm like every single one of my technology pieces are dying. Don't die on me. I just got you microphone. May 28, 2015. Skynet became self-aware <laughs> <laughs> by changing and so, and normal screw with norm. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi password. 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 We heard of this radio norm. We want to take control of it. <laughs> It's the NSA. They're actively hmm. taking actions. The perfect calibration <laughs> for oddal orgasm. Sorry, what? At the end of this episode, instead of playing like the normal Channel 14 endings, we're going to play the Norm song. Norm song. <laughs> not that one. He's just mad. Ah. <laughs> that one's not allowed for children. Ah, I see. Yes. But this is allowed for children? Anything we're talking about? This is Radio <laughs> Norm. But gosh, there are the... Well, I mean, I'm sure everything is going to come back to normal. I, I'm assuming normal. it probably is the heat, the humidity, just messing with your system. Probably, yeah. I mean, I remember like when we were up in the farm and the humidity was just so high, it would cause things to spark and act up a little bit. So it just might be that. Yeah, or but, the universe is just conspiring against you. I mean, you know, either way. <laughs> yeah, but once we're, we've got that all fixed, I'm looking forward to playing Guns of Icarus with you guys and, you know, recording Aww. it for the enjoyment of our 24 now subscribers. I think we're still at around 14. I just want to get back to Borderlands. <laughs> I haven't hit 72 for Christ's sake. Neither have I. I have seven characters in 72. <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> I like finding treasure chests in Borderlands because I have never found a legendary in a treasure chest. I made extra characters in for all my legendaries. You're an all-star. Hey, there's a new hotfix right now, so even more legendaries drop. Yes, three times. Three times more legendaries. I'm looking forward to three times more white weapons. <laughs> That's the best part why, here. Why did they have that patch? Because you know. uh, because they were doing tests to see what is the best drop rate. And they felt having a little bit higher drop rate for legendaries would be great. Mm -hmm. Which is great for me because that means my farming becomes more efficient. And for Norm, he'll finally see something that's like you know, blue or purple. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not even gold? Gold. There's no... I mean orange. Oh, orange. Sorry. Oh, orange is great. Norm mm -hmm. seeing orange is... um. Kind of a rare or thing. Like blue moon. The thing I can't forget was in pre-sequel. Uh, you're in space, so you have auction, and auction is a blue item. I've never seen Norm get so excited and so disappointed at the same time. Norm is literally the only person who gets disappointed in finding oxygen in space because he thought it would be a blue item. 
I thought I'd finally get a gun that wasn't white or green. It's like, it's a blue, it's just oxygen, you useless thing. <laughs> what can you do except prevent me from dying? I can still kill people without the air. <laughs> Proof that the diamond water paradox does not exist. <laughs> Uh, now I want to build my own rig. But oh yeah, the hot fix is for Borderlands 2 and pre sequel. So Borderlands okay. 2 will also have higher drop rates. You, you can um uh, you you can get like uh yeah, yeah. Uber minimal rig. No, like, mean, medium like spec rig for twenty twenty five thousand. Right, That's right. a medium spec rig. And and I suppose we're gonna make a third world Linux episode out of this. Probably not. I'm gonna use that money for other things. But I thought we were gonna make like a. God, I still have to save up for that. The the sub hundred dollar Linux rig. Are we gonna push for that? I What's a know. sub hundred dollar Linux rig? What's that? Like a potato? You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> hey Norm, you should build one of those. Oh, putting <laughs> Linux on a potato. I ran out of words. I'm out of my third <laughs> coffee. <laughs> something something bank account joke. Well, you have all the swag going on, so I thought you could afford a potato. Well, you know. They get expensive this time of year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is our but 22. Yeah, but you actually can do that on a sub-$100 system? Uh, that's the challenge. Like in the Philippines where, you know, the electronics prices are insane because of taxation? About two times more expensive. That's the challenge. So if you did this in a first world nation, it'd be like 10 bucks? 50 bucks. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 You can bucks. make one. Or do we know? Well, yeah, but... Yeah. Is this off like a weird Radio Shack Raspberry somewhere? Pie and, uh, like, I wish we had a Radio Shack here. You know what? I wish we had a Radio Shack here. Huh. Why don't you uh, open one arm? Yeah. Alexan, I, I don't want to put your Radio uh, Shack. Ah. <laughs> like, the idea is to dig through like old... um like like So you're scavenging. Surplus. Yeah, we're, yeah, surplus stores and stuff. Ah, okay, okay. But it's not so like we're, we're getting new parts. Yeah, we're scavenging oh, okay. pretty much. And see what we can get with like $100. So you're... Borderlandsing a Linux build, more or less, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, See, how powerful a build are you expecting? Like something from two thousand and two, two thousand five, nineteen ninety six. From now, well, you know, current. Can make current. I, I, well, I'm, I'm thinking like like uh, last generation because like I'm oh, not could, sure. I'm pretty sure we can make it current. Like i threes, yeah. Wait, oh. i threes current? I thought that current is i five. Well, the the way Intel the way Intel um, releases it, they have. Um, i3, i5, and i7, and they release them all at the same time. And then you have our next generation of i3s, i5s, and i7s. Yeah. Right? But they're all from the same generation, just different tiers. Yeah. So an i5 isn't the next generation of an i3. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I get you. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The, the hierarchy, okay, wait, this generation is i3, oh, i5, he, and he already seven. Under, so he already Pretty understand. much that. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get the lowest tier, but still, it will work. But it's still current generation. Yeah. I'll be a bit slow. But the, that would be the like, challenge actually is like how are we gonna make the components work for the distro that we might choose? Um, we don't get a proprietary video card. Yeah, not gonna get a video card because it's, we're not gonna optimize it for gaming. Yeah, what do we use it for then? Computing. <laughs> I Recording computing. Bodega Nights episodes <laughs> that ah. we can upload on channel fourteen dot <laughs> com. Come on, it's been twenty minutes. When someone you can email that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can email us at contact. Oh no, so <laughs> what? what? Like, let's talk about though the computer specs and building things. Uh, they actually released lots of the the Oculus Rift, the Morpheus, and all these other things for the. Uh, well, these are the Otos headsets. Yeah, the final the final Oculus is out. Yeah, right, this is where I uh, high step spec. out and have a cigarette because I'm really angry at the Oculus Rift. <laughs> are you angry because Facebook owns it? No. Are you angry because it dropped Mac and Linux support? Ah, wait, it did. Yes. Those bastards, I don't like you anymore. So Morpheus. Exactly. <laughs> Morpheus. <laughs> All right. And apparently... Wait, how do, you, how do you pause this? With a pause button. What? No, no, I'm just... Pause? No, never mind. Can you... Can do I we space bar? <laughs> no, I, might, I might break the entire recording.